Hello Cancer, welcome back to my channel. Um, we are going to be doing a reading for the week of January 11th through January 17th. And we are going to be touching on the energies for this week. Um, I want to uh, let you know that since it is the first uh, month in the year and the 11th day of the month, that um, is 111, which signifies manifestation and uh, prosperity. So to me as a spiritual being and a tarot reader, that's very significant, okay? Because 111 is a number um, that um, encourages you to start your journey into um, a spiritual awakening, okay? Um, it means that your spirit guides and angels are guiding you to new beginnings. Um, in addition, you know, it's a reminder to think positive and try to keep the negative thoughts out of your mind during this week. I mean, it's always good to do, right? Um, but especially during um, this upcoming week, please try to remain positive, um, even in the face of adversity, okay? So I wanted to get that, um, get that out first before we um, move on to the reading. Um, if you want more information uh, regarding the number 111, there are a lot of videos on YouTube. Um, you can Google it. Just Google um, angel number 111. Um, that way you can find more information about that, okay? All right, let's go ahead and get started. Spirit, they already know, right? <laughs> yes. I love my spirit guides. All right, so... Um, I did meditate before I began your reading, Taurus, um, and this card did come out. Okay, this is the Wounded Warrior card, the Nine of Wands. So we'll see what that um, signifies here in the reading, but I just want you to know that that came out in my meditation. This may be a long reading, Cancer, just a warning. We did get five cards out on the table, and we have um, the Empress at the bottom of the deck. Okay. If you know... Uh, if you've seen my readings before, you know that I um, I take the messages as they are channeled um, from spirit. So whatever has, whatever I'm asked to read, that's what I read. Okay, um, that's why having five cards out here is a lot. So I just want to warn you ahead of time that it's going to be a long reading. All right, we start out with the magician, and the magician talks about being empowered and being. Um, it really talks about manifestation and, you know, as I said at the beginning, manifestation and prosperity are going to be really, really big um, this upcoming week um, due to the fact that it's um, angel number 111, January 11th. So um, the Magician card is really saying that you're going to be a powerful manifester this week. You are going to be mastering something and you're going to be very conscious, confident and ready. Okay very con conscious about what you're doing, okay? Um, three of Pentacles talks about a business partnership. So if you are um, getting ready to sign contracts or you are um, working with a group of people on a project, um, you're gonna be definitely ready to go. Um, there's um, gonna be something new coming into um, your line of sight, something that is actually going to be taking place during this week that um, you really are um, prepared for, that you are um, taking the lead on. So that's beautiful. And um, <clears throat> the Nine of Wands, as I discussed earlier, is feeling a little uh, wounded. Um, this could be possibly something that you have maybe worked really hard on. It could be a project. It, it could be something that you've taken action on. Um, and you're almost finished with it, okay? It's been a, a long haul. You are at the top of the stairs there, the top of uh, where the moon is at, and the light is shining bright on you. So you're almost there. You're feeling a little overwhelmed and you're feeling tired, but you um, are definitely going to be victorious in whatever this is. And you have the chariot, beautiful card. Um, this is your energy, Cancer. This is... Um, the chariot card really talks about moving forward with some something. Um, it talks about quick progress and resourcefulness. 
So um, there's something coming quickly uh, into this scenario, into um, something going on for you next week that is going to be, um, there, there's not going to be any obstacles. It's going to be something that you will be victorious in, okay? So let's go ahead and clarify. I'm going to go ahead and uh, clarify with the Santa, Santa Muerte, sorry, Santa Muerte deck. Um, if you're interested in any of the decks that I use in the reading today, you can um, look in the description below, uh, the description box below um, to purchase them. Okay, there are links for each deck where you can just click on and easily purchase directly from uh, Amazon. Okay, I hope everyone is doing well, staying safe, and staying positive through this. Uh, you know, crazy uh, transition that we've been going through from an, from the old year into the new year. It's a big deal. Uh, you know, there even in the sky, uh, there are a lot of transits happening in the solar system that are going to be creating a lot of different energies for us this year. So, um, yeah, there's definitely going to be newness coming in, new beginnings new ways of doing things. All right, um, before I start with um, the clarifying on these cards, I want to point out that you have the Empress card here. This is your energy. Yes, I did say that the Chariot is your card as well, but that is different. This energy of the Empress, um, I feel that you are a very open-minded and creative person. Um, you are very motherly, very nurturing, and you are abundant. And during this week, you will definitely be um, alluding to your traits as someone who is definitely a very nurturing individual and you understand the essence of life. Okay, I want to point that out. Spirit, please let's um, get some clarifying cards for the magician. Wow, they are talking quickly today. <laughs> All right. Let the hermit card out here. Another major arcana. Spirit, clarify the magician, please. The cancer. Thank you. All right, so... We have the Hermit card and the Eight of Swords in reverse. So the Hermit card really talks about going within, doing some um, solid, you know, taking s solitude in, um, getting away from you know the hustle and bustle of the world and going within and really um, listening to your higher self, um, being non-judgmental -judge about um, some of the things that you're feeling, some of the things that you are. Um, pursuing some of the things that might be um, going on in your life, you're really taking taking the time to think about them and searching for answers within, okay? Um, this Eight of Swords in reverse is really saying that um, there might be some delays in communication um, if you've had to, or if you've had to travel um, to see family during the holidays, there may have been a delay due to the pandemic where you may not have been able to do that. Um, so this is just, you know, really reiterating that, um, uh, the magician card is, um, as I said, talking about being empowered. Um, the hermit card is, uh, the energy of Virgo, um, really just letting you know that you've taken some time to go within and the eight of swords in reverse is just saying that you, there, there has been delays, but you're definitely, um, working through those delays. Okay, let me just move this real quick so you can see the cards. All right, so you are working through some of the delays, um, either in travel or in communication with um, someone. Okay. Let's find out what this Three of Pentacles is. Um, this is significant because it is, if you, if you can see at the top, 111. Okay. We just talked about that at the beginning of the video. Um, so this is significant in this reading. We'll see what this um, means for you. Spirit, please clarify the Three of Pentacles for Cancer.
Or would you like me to take this, Spirit? Thank you. One more, please. Thank you. If you hear weird noises in the background, that's my dog. He snores. Apologize for that. Um, okay. Uh, so the clarifying cards are the Knight of is the Knight of Wands and the Two of Swords in reverse. So you have a clear path here um, with a Knight of Wands or an energy of the Knight of Wands. Um, I don't feel that this is a person here, this Knight of Wands. I feel it's an energy of moving and taking action towards something um, in the workplace, okay? Um, and I don't feel that you are blocking yourself. I don't feel that you are um, hesitating. I feel that you are moving confidently um, towards um, whatever this is in the workplace. Now, <clears throat> I do. I must say, I did say that this was not an individual, but if it is, it, if it is, and you are dealing with an Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius, <clears throat> Um, this is just saying that um, that the process here, it could be a boss or it could be a co-worker that is an Aries Leo, Aries Leo Sag. Um, but it is in the workplace, okay? This is definitely occurring um, in the job sector. You're not blocking yourself. You're not blocked at all. You're not um, hindering. You're not hindered by negativity or any kind of um, um, obstacle. Um, as I said, um, there are this chariot card is really saying that there isn't going to be any obstacles for you. It's going to be victorious. So this could be a project and, and work, or it could be um, something that you are dealing with at work. Um, all, all this is saying is that you're going to be um, unblocked from any anything getting in the way of whatever this is, okay? And the Ace of Wands. Please clarify the Ace of Wands spirit. Okay, one more, please. So there is a new beginning here, Cancer, um, and it you know could be in any area of your life. I do have the Ten of Pentacles here in reverse. The Ten of Pentacles upright can talk about family and it can talk about money. However, I do feel that this is um, talking about family uh, in your reading, um, and I do have the Moon card as well here. Okay, um, so. This is really saying that um, there is something that is unseen or unknown, um, things that are hidden, um, possibly in um, the home life, uh, maybe in a relationship, maybe in a marriage. Um, there are things that um, you're really not sure how they're going to pan out, or maybe you're feeling a little bit reluctant or lost in um, this relationship. There seems to be some sort of um, hidden agendas or hidden truths, okay? So this new beginning really um, with the Ace of Wands is just saying that um, try to ground yourself, try to listen to your intuition uh, during this upcoming week and into the month. Um, and, you know, there, the new beginning is actually you know, happening in the family um, sector, um, but just know that, um, you know, with this card here, um, it, it may feel like you have worked on something and it could, it could be in this relationship. Um, and maybe there's just some final things that need to happen in order to clarify some, um, some things that have maybe have come to the surface. Um, maybe have been, you know, recently revealed, maybe there was secrets in the past, or, um, but you are, or maybe not, maybe you haven't seen them yet, and you're, you know, still working through some of the difficult, um, things that, um, have caused some illusions in this relationship. Let's clarify this Nine of Wands here to see what comes out. Spirit, please clarify the Nine of Wands for Cancer. 
why is Cancer feeling wounded in this relationship? Okay. So, Cancer, you could be dealing with a Gemini. Um, and, you know, you have worked hard on growing um, with this individual. Um, this individual is coming out as the King of Swords. Someone who is very outspoken, someone who is not scared to speak their mind, very intellectual, very smart individual, um, and someone who is um, very open to sharing ideas. Um, so again, this could be a Gemini. It doesn't have to be, but I am feeling that um, you have really worked hard on planting the seeds to um, to make this work and it's been a lot of work for you you are almost at the top you are almost there in um, you know uh, coming to to a conclusion coming to um, coming to the end of something difficult okay so a burdensome scenario or a burdensome type of situation um, that has really taken um, some work to grow okay um, if this is not an individual or you're not dealing with a Gemini cancer um, this is just saying that communication is going to be very important with this individual okay if you want to continue to put the work in with this individual okay now Let's go ahead and get a clarification card for the chariot. Spirit, please clarify the chariot. Thank you. All right, so. Um, at the bottom of the deck, we have the eight of wands. Okay. Um, so the eight of wands can talk about um, <clears throat> The Eight of Wands can really talk about um, feeling and being passionate about um, moving into um, the end of what's happening here. This is the card before the Nine of Wands, okay? So um, with the King of Cups here, you're definitely... Um, this could be your energy as well, feeling, you know, very loving, very um, open to love. Um, but there seems to be something that is causing you to want to move out of this type of energy with this um, eight and nine of wands. Okay. Um, again, it just seems like you are wanting to end this um ordeal whatever you've been dealing with here um, you are definitely being very loving and showing your love to an individual here um, and you want you want to move away from the choppy waters and into smoother waters with this individual okay um, it looks like this is going to happen quickly <clears throat> and it definitely looks like you are going within you are um, there may be some delays like I said in communication um, but you definitely need to put the work in to, to communicate so that things can um, um, start to flourish, okay? A new beginning can happen with, with you and um, whoever this is here. Now, in the workplace or in the work sector, um, you are being very open. You are ready to start a, a new partnership uh, with an individual in work. Keep in mind that this can also be... Um, someone who you've met at work or someone you work with who you may be having relations with that's another possibility and that could be why um because there's a lot of love here there's a lot of um there's a lot of relationship type um feeling within this reading um okay so you can definitely be um dealing with um an aries leo or sagittarius or a gemini okay all right, Cancer, um, I do want to point out before we leave um, this reading is the Nine of Pentacles. So you are a very independent individual financially. You don't really need anyone um, to support you. Um, so that's, you know, I just wanted to include this um, since I did notice that. You are the Empress. You are very 
um, creative. You are very artistic um, and open-minded and motherly. Um, so this individual definitely um, would be losing out if you decided to change your mind about it. I don't see that happening here. I just see that you've put in a lot of work. Um, you are uh, manifesting um, a new beginning and um, communication is going to be very important here um, and moving away from some of the burdens that have made you feel a little overwhelmed um, are going to be coming to an end. Okay, that's beautiful. So um, I'm going to go ahead and pull one moon card for you before we close the reading, Cancer. Um, I want to remind you that if this reading did not resonate with you today, please check your sun, moon, and rising signs. And um, I have a lot of other videos in my playlist that you should uh, go check out uh, to help guide, guide you um, with the energies that um, have been channeled um, through me from spirit, okay? All right, uh, Cancer. Uh, spirit, please give me a message for Cancer to close the reading today, please. that you got was the full moon eclipse it says conclusions are within reach and we talked about something that you are looking to conclude they are within reach okay with this hermit card this is going within and I know it's a different type of quote unquote within right this is really going within and, and searching for the answers but this is saying conclusions are within reach so they are they're within you so you definitely have all the answers cancer um take some time to really um go within and find those answers for yourself um to move into a new direction away from choppy waters and into smoother waters okay i hope you enjoyed the reading um if so, please um, like, share, and subscribe to my channel. Hit the notification bell if you want to be notified when I post new videos. Okay? All right. I hope you have a wonderful new year, Cancer, and until next time, namaste.